Hi everyone, it's Kirsty and of course Wonky. Wonky's here. Um, those of you that don't know, Wonky is my Mugu cow for the product range that I stock and she helps me uh, choose which products to use. And she's called Wonky because no matter what I do, I can't get everything up to where it should be. And so she's always known as Wonky. So what are we talking about today? Today is Wednesday, so I've been here in Clan Cancer Support Group in Inverurie and I've seen some lovely clients this morning and I just can't help but smile today because one of my ladies has been going through a really, really tough time the last few weeks. I've seen her quite, quite a lot over the last couple of months uh, since we opened up in April and she's really been struggling and today she came in and when I went out to greet her in the waiting area out the front, she was having a drink and she was smiling. And it just lit up my world today to see her sitting there smiling after the last few weeks and the darker hours that she's been through just made my day. I was just so pleased. So anyway, uh, we did our treatment and um, at the end of it, she says, I just want to hug you because you've given me hope over the last few weeks in these sessions and I can't tell you how that made me feel because that makes me feel far more important than I actually am. I'm here with hands-on treatments doing oncology massage, a bit of scar work because she's had breast cancer and she's had an operation and just for her to be able to go like that and for it to not pull and not be painful is just phenomenal. Um, she's been doing her rehab at home between appointments and she just looked like a different person. So if you are, I don't like using the word struggling, but clan cancer support is here in the northeast. We've got centres in Aberdeen, in P Peterhead, uh, Peterhead Crimmond and Inverurie. Yeah, Aberdeen, Crimmond, Bankery, Inverurie. Um, Elgin and <clears throat> we are here to help you and support you and your family um, if you have been navigating through through cancer at all um, so please do get in touch with us and let us know how we can how we can support you so we do all sorts of complementary therapies not just the oncology and the scar work uh, and the lymphatic work that I do we have reflexologies I'm just looking at the list Indian head massage uh, there's Reiki, relaxation massages, and reflexology. Um, and that's just at Inverurie. We've got uh, counselling facilities. Uh, there's hypnotherapy. Um, and, you know, we can just put you in touch with, with people if we can't help you. But please do, you know, just get in touch with the centre and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. So uh, we did a lot of oncology massage today, which is very gentle. Working through clothing, don't have to strip off and lie face down on bed and get covered in oil for an hour. It's not like that at all. It's still touch and it just slows down all the systems in the body. So it lowers blood pressure, lowers um, stress levels, lowers heart rate, which brings down breathing rates, which increases relaxation gives the body time to just switch off or turn down the volume, a volume switch. So it's not in this tight, aggressive attacking mode all the time. It just becomes a lot calmer and less, uh, more like defensive. So it's uh, rest and digest. And often clients will doze off on the table. And that's the biggest, biggest compliment that anyone can give me is full trust to fall asleep while they're having the therapy. Um, so not only that, other internal systems benefit from it. It boosts the immune system. And if the immune system is boosted, that means it can help healing, uh, shorten recovery rates by quite a lot. Digestion can be improved and obviously sleep. You know, most most clients when they go home from here will say that they've either slept in the afternoon or they've had a really good sleep that night and their sleep is better for a few days. So do consider oncology massage and complementary therapies. They can do an awful lot and they're probably not quite what you think they're going to be. So um, do that and mindset work, a lot of breathing work, which again, just slows everything down 
takes the stress out of life and a bit of mindset work um, to work on what's what's really good in your life at the moment and focus on that so there's less negativity which again releases stress hormones and if we can focus on the happy hormones then the body is a lot of a, a happier place and as I said to somebody this morning even if you're feeling a bit down and a bit fed up if you can force yourself to have a smile your brain will think that you are happy and it will release happy hormones even though you might feel a bit rough or you feel a bit down smile and see what happens and I'm pretty sure your mood will improve because of it so uh, I, I just love my work you can, you can tell I get carried away uh, you what we've we done today today we were using uh, the MSM cream whoops from Mugu this is natural it's packed full of goodness and healthy nutrients to improve the quality of the skin obviously if it's been through chemotherapy or radiation treatments the skin becomes compromised um, it can become dry uh, itchy flaky, uh, just really irritated. And this just goes on. It goes on really thinly and very smooth and doesn't leave any nasty, oops, running out, um, nasty effects. Oh, come out. Oh, now I've got loads. You, probably, you don't even need that much. I could do a whole leg with that much. But when you do rub it in and rub it in between your fingers, and if you have uh, lymphedema or lymphatic problems, it's really important to look after your skin so that you don't get any cracks, any wee um, breaks in the skin where infection can get in. And especially at the moment with uh, the summertime, be careful with insects. So if you're compromised your lymphedema, make sure you wear your insect repellent or have clothing on that they can't get through because the last thing you want is to have an insect bite and then for it to have a reaction within the body um, and cause more problems. Worst case scenario, sometimes can lead to cellulitis, which is a really horrible, horrible condition which you don't want, you don't want to have. Um, so look, all gone, no greasiness, really smooth, smells nice, full of natural ingredients uh, like honey, aloe vera, things like that. So that's what we've been using this morning. Uh, you might have seen the post last night. I was super excited to know that Huntley Golf Club have had the signs printed. I've done some sponsorship with them and the sign will be going in place. It's going on the second tee and uh, there'll be a special offer coming out once it's in place and there'll be some photos and things. So have a look, keep an eye open for it. It's quite big. It's uh, 60 centimetres long, I think, and about 15 centimetres deep. It's got my logo on it. Actually, it's got both little rock. That's my logo. Um, so that's that's really exciting. And what else? There's something else this weekend. Ah, oh, Saturday night is Fivey Football Club. It's their awards night, and I have sponsored a cup for them for the year for Clubman of the Year. And I will be trundling along. And I will be giving out the cup on Saturday night. Um, there's a whole awards dinner. It's being held at Morrison Motors down in Turriff in their showroom because they are the main sponsor of the football club. And a big shout out to Morrison Motors for last week. They serviced my car and uh, they did a fantastic job on it. And they washed it and they even managed to get the flies off the front of the radiator grill where they got welded on and everything because I was down in Edinburgh a few days beforehand. So... Um, it was it was a bit of a mess, but they managed to get them all off and they did a fantastic job. So well done, Morrison Motors. And yeah, so we'll be rocking up on Saturday night for our um, supper, awards dinner. And I believe there's some entertainment, some um, a football legend is going to be there uh, giving us uh, some insights into what it was like when he was playing football. And then I'll be giving out the award. So Friday, I'm actually going to have my hair done. And there's a bit of a thing going on in our business club at the moment because somebody had theirs done the other day and somebody else has had theirs done. So there's before and afters. So there might be, might be before and after photos of my hair once it's once it's done on Friday, ready for Saturday night. Um, so that kind of leads us into a sporty theme at the moment. You know, summer's here. People are out doing more sports and um, Wimbledon's coming up. Obviously, I'm involved with the golf club now and the uh, football club because I've helped them during the season when they had a couple of uh, a player with a, an issue. Um, 
So I've gone with the Thought Sporty theme. There's a new blog on the website if you want to go and read it. It's about keeping you on the pitch rather than on the sidelines for the summer with injuries and things. And uh, there'll be a couple of newsletters coming out over the next couple of weeks, as well, next couple of months as well, to tie in with it. And of course, we've got Wimbledon coming up. So um, tennis elbow, that's a common issue that I see, which is a problem on the outside of the elbow. And it's just an overuse injury. So uh, yeah, there's all sorts of information in there. And just a word of warning, you know I do uh, medals and things. Well, this week, uh, you might have seen, I put a picture of me. I'd been out for a run on Sunday and I ran, and I hadn't run properly for a couple of months, for one reason or another. I've been on the spin bike a lot, but I thought, no, I'm gonna do my run today and I'm going to do it in aid of, which way, there we go, Armed Forces Day, which is in June. And I like to support causes and give money back and they get donations from the uh, from the medals and that supports our services uh, which I think is is quite important to me um but I wasn't able to walk properly for two days after I'd done my run because I was stupid and fitness sucks and I felt great while I did my run, I was floating along. Yes, I was the color of my t-shirt, you know, I was completely purple. Um, I had some music on, and uh, a word about that. If you're listening to music and you're running along the roads, be very, very careful. Run, running where I do, I run the farm tracks and things. There's not a lot of traffic and I always have one ear, ear plug out so I can hear if there's anything coming, but be careful. Um, so yes, running fantastic, way top of the world. Monday morning, I tried to get up and I was like, oh, oh, my legs. Oh, they really hurt. Monday afternoon, they still really hurt. Tuesday, they really hurt. And I thought, fitness just sucks this week. What did I not do? I didn't do a shorter distance because I'd had a break from the run. If I'd run, um, if I hadn't run so far, I wouldn't have the same effects that I've got now. So there's just a word of warning for you. I should have done what I always tell my clients to do. And that is just step your distance back and build yourself back up to your original distance. And that goes for a session in the gym. If you're doing weights, then uh, you need to just drop, the, drop that weight down a wee bit until you get back to where you were before you had your break. Even if you have a week off, just step it back a wee bit, let the body adapt, and then you can push forward again. So... I have been, I've used the limpa touch last night because my quads are not so bad now, but my hamstrings are still just a wee bit tight. So I had the old limpa touch out, giving myself a bit of self care last night. But I'll be on the spin bike tonight and that'll sort me out. But uh, yeah, I was not a fan of fitness. And I think it's important to tell you that, that you will have days where you think, this is just rubbish. I hate it. Why am I doing it? But remember the long term investment that you're making in your body. Boris Gump run. Oh, don't. It was hilarious, Andre. You would you would just have been in fits if you'd seen me trying to walk yesterday. In actual fact, I winced when I got off the floor with a client because I was working on their feet and their lower legs. And I winced as I got back up again. And I'm sure there was a tiny squeak because it was just so uncomfortable. But anyway, it's OK to hate your fitness from time to time and to think why why am I doing this to myself? The important thing to remember is the rest periods between your training, whatever you're doing, is when the body makes you fitter and stronger and repairs the damage that you've done. Because with my run, if you take my quadricep muscles down the front of the, the thigh, um, there's tiny, tiny, tiny micro tears within those muscles from the run itself. Then the body knits all those little tears back together again to make the muscle stronger and fitter and able to work longer. Um, but it's the between the runs that that repair process happens. And that's why it's so important to have rest days between your training if you can, um, especially if you're training hard or mix up your training. So you're not just doing the same thing all the time on those same muscle groups in the same directions and the same same ways. So, yeah, fitness sucks. I hated fitness this week. And I thought I'd just share that with you um, in case you all think that I just love it all the time, because clearly I didn't. But anyway, um, that kind of wraps up the last few days. 
really exciting. Had a wonderful day here at Clan Cancer in Inverurie this morning with the smiling clients. Golf club, there will be a special offer coming out and I'm hoping there's a photo. There will be a photo opportunity that I can go down and I'm gonna stand by the tee and get some photos done. So they'll be posted later on. And I will of course um, show you the glamorous me at the award ceremony on Saturday night. I'm bigging it up. It's like I'm going to the Oscars. Um, it's the Football Club Awards and I'm giving out the Clubman of the Year Cup that I've sponsored. So I hope everything in your world is happy and sunny and you are all doing really well. And I will speak to you very, very soon. I'll come back and answer the comments later. If you've got any questions about sport, fitness, your health, oncology massage or anything that I do around the areas, I basically, because I live in Aberherda, I travel out to Huntley. I come up to the coast to Bamp, cross to Bucky, and everything kind of in that triangle is my area that I cover. So um, it's quite a large area. And if you're not sure, just give me a shout and I can let you know. But have a fantastic week. It's been great talking to you. Thank you for popping onto my page and supporting me. And um, let me know if you need anything. Okay, from Wonky and from me, it's time to go. We've got clients to see in Cornhill this afternoon. So that's where I'm going. But whatever you're doing, have a fantastic day and thank you for your support. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.